Take a trip to your local mall and it won't be hard to notice. The department store business is not in good shape. Big name chains such as Macy's, JCPenney, and Sears have collectively closed hundreds of stores in recent years, and many of the locations that remain are ghost towns. Investors have responded by hammering their stocks. So how did these storied retailers go from dominant to devastated? The conventional wisdom is that they've been rocked by the rise of online shopping, with Amazon in particular siphoning away sales. Indeed, e-commerce sales have been climbing steadily, in part at the expense of department stores. But that's just one part of the story. Department stores are struggling because they're also being assaulted from so many other angles. Shoppers have been flocking to off-price retailers such as Marshalls and Home Goods, stores that don't do a shred of e-commerce business, but have won fans for their treasure hunt-like atmosphere. Ooh, I love that. Long in the back, short in the front. Ugh, I can word it a million times. Beauty counters were once a big draw for department stores, but that format has an appeal to millennials. Instead, many of them are opting to buy from specialty stores, such as Sephora and Ulta, that provide a more self-guided shopping experience. And it doesn't help that mega brands are starting to sour on department stores. Ralph Lauren and Michael Kors are among the marquee labels sending less inventory to such retailers. That, in turn, hurts the store's fashion credibility. Department stores are fighting back in a variety of ways, including by selling off lucrative real estate. But their best shot at survival is to proactively close more stores more quickly to focus only on their shops in well-trafficked malls. Meanwhile, they need to hustle to improve their online selection and user experience so they can better ride the e-commerce wave. If they don't take bolder action soon, it may be too late.